Hi guys, and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable some hidden features in the latest beta channel build for Windows 11. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable some new start menu features and also a new taskbar feature that can be enabled and is hidden in this latest build for the beta channel, which is the build 22635.3500. If you enjoy videos like these in which I show you how to enable different hidden features on the insider channels, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access, a virtual private network where VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using Private Internet Access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out Private Internet Access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First of all, we're going to have to set a Vive tool on our computer, just get Vive tool from the article below in the video's description and get the latest version.zip. You can open it up using File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse, and you can extract it into a dedicated folder, maybe in local disk C. I have a folder here, Hidden Features. I'm just gonna select it and extract everything there. And I'm also gonna copy the location because we're gonna need it whenever we are running the commands. Click on Extract. In my case, I'm gonna have to replace the files and we're good to go. This is how you set a Vive tool on your computer. Now, let's open up the CMD, open up the search box, type into your CMD, and then click on Run as Administrator. On User Account Control, of course, click on Yes. Here, inside the CMD, type in CD, and then the location where you extracted Vive Tool, and we are now in that location after we press Enter, and here we're going to have to run a few commands. First of all, we're going to enable the new Start Menu Account Management feature, and for that, we're going to run two commands just to be sure. One of them is Vive Tool, slash Enable, slash ID, 4689-2085. Press Enter, and you should receive the message Successfully Set Feature Configuration. And for the same feature, we're also going to run Vive Tool slash Enable slash ID 48433719 and then press Enter. And this should enable the new Start Menu Account Management. Now, I'm also going to show you how to enable the new Start Menu All Apps section. I've made a video previously in which I showed you how to enable that, but I'm going to show it again because Microsoft updated that a bit and improved it. So I think if you don't have it yet, you should enable it right now on the Better Channel. And for this, we're also going to need two commands, Vive Tool slash Enable slash ID four seven two zero five two one zero you're gonna space slash variant to, and then press enter. And now you should also have the start menu all app section. Basically for this, you're also going to need this command, but if we enable it already, there's no need to enable it again. Basically, if you have this command enabled, you can just enable these two IDs and you should have the new start menu account management and also the new start menu all apps. And finally, a new taskbar option that basically allows you to see the full search box whenever your taskbar is set to auto hide. And that will be Vive tool slash enable slash ID 4928 and then press enter. Basically, all these IDs and commands were discovered by Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter. We're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below, so make sure to follow him there because he does a great job by finding these hidden features. Now we're good to go. We can exit out of the CMD and make sure you restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now after the restart, let's check out the new features. First of all, in the Start menu, if you click on your account, you're going to notice this new menu that appears, this new account management section with the Microsoft logo, your name, your email, my Microsoft account info, Microsoft 365 subscription management and also cloud storage. Additionally, you can see here notifications related to your account recovery or if you have almost full cloud storage and stuff like that. Also, if you click on these three dots, you're going to notice that the sign out button is now here and here you're going to be able to find the lock button. Now let's move on to the OAP section. As you can see, now the OAP section is divided into categories alphabetically and I think that is pretty nice. If you click on a letter, you can simply switch to a certain letter and find your apps like that. I think this is pretty useful and pretty intuitive by Microsoft. I think this is a really nice addition. Now also, if we right click on the taskbar and then go to taskbar settings and then to taskbar behaviors and automatically hide the taskbar, we're going to notice that whenever we're hovering over and using our search, the full search will be opened up. That wasn't the case before enabling that hidden feature. So don't forget that all the information you need and all the commands that I've used in this video is in the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.